Good evening. This is All India Radio Kohima. I'm Jonas Yantan with Evening News. The headlines. Government hold next round of talks with farmers' unions tomorrow. Education Ministry says syllabus of JEE need to remain unchanged for 2021. Birthday of Nidaji Subhash Chandra Bose to be celebrated as Paragram Divas every year. And Team India Grades Hits History clinches Test Series against Australia. The then round of talks between the central government and the representatives of farmers' unions, which was earlier scheduled for today, will now be held tomorrow in New Delhi. In a statement issued late last evening, the Agriculture Ministry confirmed the new schedule and reiterated centre's commitment to resolve issues of the farmers. Meanwhile, the Supreme Court appointed panel to listen to the grievances of the protesting farmers held its first meeting today. The APEX Court had, on 11th of this month, stated the implementation of the three farm laws against which the farmer unions are protesting at the borders of the national capital. It had also appointed a four-member panel to resolve the impasse. Education Ministry today said the syllabus of JEE and NEET will remain unchanged for the year 2021. However, unlike previous years, this year the candidates will have options to answer the questions in JEE and NEED examinations. The syllabus for JEE Main 2021 will remain the same as the previous year, but the students will be given choice to answer 75 questions out of 90 questions. In JEE Main 2020, there were 75 questions, all of which had to be answered by the candidates. The exact pattern for need undergraduate 2021 is yet to be announced. However, in view of the reduction of syllabus by some boards across the country, the need undergraduate 2021 question paper will also have the options on the lines of JEE May. Union government has decided to celebrate the birthday of Nidaji Subhash Chandra Bose as Barakram Divas on 23rd of January every year. Ministry of Culture said in a notification that the decision has been taken to honour and remember Nidaji's indomitable spirit and selfless sacrifice to the nation. It said the people fondly remember Nidaji Subhash Chandra Bose's unparalleled contribution to the nation on his 125th birth anniversary. Government has decided to celebrate the 125th birth anniversary year of Nidaji beginning from this month in a befitting manner at a national and international level. Nidhi Ayuk will release the second edition of India Innovation Index in a virtual event tomorrow. The index will be released by Nidhi Ayuk Vice Chairman Dr. Rajiv Kumar in the presence of Nidhi Ayuk Member Dr. V.K. Saraswad and Chief Executive Officer Amitabh Khan. Nidhi Ayuk said in a statement that the release of the second edition of the index demonstrates government's continued commitment towards transforming the country into an innovation-driven economy. The India Innovation Index 2020 seeks to rank the states and union territories based on their relative performance of supporting innovation and to empower them to improve their innovation policies by highlighting their strengths and weaknesses. The budget session of the Parliament will begin on the 29th of this month. Briefing reporters in New Delhi today, Lok Sabha Speaker Om Birla said the first part of the session will conclude on 15 February, which will have 12 sittings. He said the second part of the budget session will begin on 8 March and will conclude on 8 April and it will have 21 sittings. Mr Birla said the seating arrangements have been made in view of COVID-19 guidelines. He said Rajya Sabha will function from 9am to 2pm and Lok Sabha will function from 4pm to 9pm. The budget session will commence with President Ramnath Kovin's address to the joint sitting of both the houses. The union budget will be presented on 1st February. This news comes to you from All India Radio, Kohima. A farewell program was organised in honour of the outgoing Deputy Commissioner Kohima, Muhammad Ali Shihab A, at the DC's conference hall today. In his speech, Shihab thanked everyone for their unconditional love and support. 
He credited the achievements made during his tenure to the joint efforts and assistance contributed by the public organizations, agencies, GBs, DBs, administrative officers, and the line departments. Additional Deputy Commissioner Kohima, the Trongla Dongpi Rutsa, speaking on behalf of officers and staff, said, With the initiatives of the outgoing DC, many things could be achieved in a record time. Superintendent of Police Kohima, Manoj Kumar, who also spoke on the occasion, expressed his admiration on the positive attitude of the outgoing DC in carrying out various works. Kumar said his sincerity and dedication sets an example for everyone to follow. The total confirmed cases of COVID-19 positive in Nagaland have reached 12,066. Five fresh cases were detected today, three in Dimapur and two in Kohima, while seven positive patients also recovered from the infection, which include five from Dimapur and two from Kohima. The total recovered cases in the state stands at 11,724, while the number of active cases is 112. Ministry of Road, Transport and Highways has notified Inter-Country Transport Vehicles Rules 2021, which would facilitate and regulate the movement of passengers and goods vehicles between India and neighbouring countries. As per the rules, the State Transport Authority has been given the power to grant the inter-country transport permit after thoroughly examining the application. The permit will remain valid for a period of one year from the date of its issue and it will be renewable for a period of five years on a yearly basis. Principal Director of Health and Family Welfare, Dr. Vizola Z. Sokre, has notified that a common scholarship portal for scholarship schemes for students under the department will be opened from 22nd of January till 28th of next month. He said the department will not accept any self-application as it has been made online from the academic session 2019-20. Students and institutions are instructed to go through the guidelines in the given portal for necessary instruction. The Common Scholarship Portal can be accessed through scholarship.nagaland.gov.in. India today graded history by defeating Australia by three wickets in the fourth and final test at the Kappa in Brisbane and retained the Border Gavaskar Trophy. India chased down the target of 328 runs and claimed the series to one. This was the first defeat for Australia at their fortress, Kappa, in 32 years, as Rishabh Pan's brilliant unbeaten 89, Shubman kills 91, and Chadeswar Pujara played incredible half-century knock in the second innings to guide India to a memorable win, test series win. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has expressed joy at the success of the Indian cricket team in Australia. In a tweet, Modi congratulated the team and said their remarkable energy and passion, stellar intent and remarkable grit and determination was visible throughout. Information and Broadcasting Minister Prakash Javadika also praised the team for the display of grit, determination and resilience in a test match. And as the nation fights COVID-19 pandemic, let us all remember to stay safe and protected by following these three simple steps. Wear a face mask, wash hands frequently with soap and water, or use hand sanitizer and follow social distancing norms. And now 20 News, here are the main points again. Government to hold next round of talks with farmers' unions tomorrow. Education Ministry says syllabus of JEE need to remain unchanged for 2021. Birthday of Nidaja Subhash Chantabos to be celebrated as Paragram Divas every year. And Team India Creates History, clinches Test Series against Australia. That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night.